I'm Joya Doss for Small Cap Nation, and we are at the Monaco Growth Forums, the fourth edition being held right here in Monaco. And one of our repeat guests is Clark Tedford, who is the president and CEO of a company called Lumathera. We, of course, had the uh, had the privilege of speaking before, but right here in Monaco, you have a very different focus as you're on the precipice of launching your product here in Europe. That's right. We anticipate launching in Europe in about the first quarter of 2017, so we're over here in Monaco to meet collaborators and friends and colleagues to help us with that launch, and, and it's for exciting. Those, for those who are looking at this interview for the very first time, what exactly is the product? Well, Lumathera is a medical device company, and we treat non-invasively vision loss. And so mainly elderly patients that are losing their sight with dry age-related macular degeneration. Mm -hmm. We're coming up with a new treatment for this uh, condition. It's a non-invasive, cost-effective therapy, and we're in the production run right now for uh, instruments to support a clinical trial and launch in Europe in 2017. And why be at this particular form of all the places that you could possibly be? Well, we've got some uh, good in, uh, people here that we can meet with that can help us open doors in Europe as we come here. Mm -hmm. And uh, from this, we're going to be uh, jumping off and doing a few other cities and meeting with potential collaborators as well around Europe. Okay. And so how does this position you for success? I mean, we're looking now, you know, 2017, but yeah. how about beyond? Well, what we're looking at is uh, the product's going to be approved in Canada and then uh, CE Mark in Europe. It allows us to do clinical trials to support additional applications. It allows us to start to talk to some of the key opinion leaders in those countries and get them uh, familiar with our product and get them to start treating patients. And this is all in preparation for us to come into the United States as well with this product. So in essence, in about uh, three or four months, we're going to be treating patients, which is really cool. Is there anyone else doing what you're doing? In North America, we're the only company looking at uh, photobiomodulation, which is a low-level light therapy to stimulate blood flow and energy production at the retinal level. And so we're the only group that's doing that in the United States and uh, around the world. So we're very excited. It's part of a new wave of treating any ailments by encouraging the body to heal itself, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so what we can do is we can improve the performance of those cells that are fighting some of these age-related diseases like age-related macular degeneration, diabetic macular edema, glaucoma. And our idea is that this would be an instrument that the ophthalmologist can use to treat early and prevent vision loss and hopefully improve the cell's performance to fight the disease and hopefully take it off the table. I'm sure for anyone who's looking to invest in Lumathera, they want to they want to hear more about the management. You have a long history career in R&D. Yes. So this is uh, my fourth small company, but I trained with a large pharmaceutical sharing plow, and um, I'm a, a drug developer, pharmacologist by development, and got into the medical device with a couple companies. And in essence, uh, uh, for the last 30 years, been developing products that can improve the life of, of patients. And you're about to go on the road to meet yes. a lot more folks in the, in the coming weeks. Yes, this is a, a product that um, vision losses without borders. So we're going to be talking to doctors and collaborators around the world. And uh, we're very excited to be launching in Europe first. But beyond that, um, whether it's uh, here in Europe or in the United States, in Canada, or in the Pacific Rim, there's uh, uh, plenty of patients out there, and we want to get to them as quickly as we can. Are there any other applicable uses that you're looking at down the line for this particular medical device? Well, initially we're targeting uh, the dry form of age-related macular degeneration where there's really no treatments. But we look at diabetic macular edema, and diabetes now is becoming an epidemic in many countries that 10 years ago you didn't see that. Mm -hmm. So that's becoming an issue, and, and the population that's starting to see vision issues is getting younger and younger. So that's probably our second uh, large area that we want to go after. Um, beyond that, there's a variety of, of other applications in the ophthalmology field, and so we think this instrument could be a stand uh, a standalone in the patient's in the doctor's office and be used uh, to treat a variety of conditions. Clark Tedford, thank you. The CEO and president of a company called Lumathera. We've had the pleasure of meeting before and we get yeah. to meet again right here in Monaco. I'm Joy Doss for Small Cap Nation. For this and more interviews from the Monaco Growth Forums, you can go to smallcapnation.com.